In two recent videos, we introduced the American AutoWire Mega Fuse Assemblies, which we use as both the main circuit protection for the alternator wiring, as well as the main circuit protection for the power supply to the fuse panel and interior wiring. We also suggested good places to mount the Mega Fuse Assemblies in the engine bay. In this video, we are going to describe the current flow through the Mega Fuses, both when the engine is off and when the engine is running. Before we get started, let's take a quick look at the main connections made to the Mega Fuse assemblies. American Auto Wire wiring kits are shipped with two Mega Fuse assemblies that are bridged together with a metal jumper. This Mega Fuse assembly is mounted in the vehicle engine bay, as shown in our prior video. Once the Mega Fuses are mounted, there are three wires to connect to the Mega Fuse assembly. The first wire is the main fuse panel power feed. This wire runs from the main fuse panel to the Mega Fuse assembly and should be connected to one of the two mega fuses, being sure that it connects to a terminal opposite from the terminal that has the metal jumper. Depending on your wiring kit, this wire may come out of the firewall via the engine harness or front light harness. This wire might also run directly from the fuse panel or dash harness. This will be well documented in the instructions. The next wire runs from the mega fuse assembly to the battery post on the alternator. This wire should not be connected to the same fuse as the main fuse panel feed wire. A third wire is added that runs from the mega fuse assembly to the battery post on the starter solenoid. One end of this wire should be attached to the mega fuse on the same fuse as the alternator charge wire, but on the opposite end of that fuse. The other end of the wire will attach to the starter solenoid battery post. This is the same post of the starter solenoid that the positive battery cable attaches to. While installing this wire, you will want to keep it as short as practical to maximize the length of the fuse protected wire runs. With the wires connected, this is how these items might be located in a project vehicle. Now that we are oriented, let's take a look at how the power flows through the Mega Fuse assembly. This is how the wires should be connected. Now, with the wires connected and the engine off, this is how power runs from the battery to the vehicle. This power is available for items like a clock, EFI ECU memory, and the dome light. With the engine off, the battery also provides power to the ignition switch to activate the starter when the key is turned. You will notice that the lower mega fuse is protecting the wire that brings power into the fuse panel. At the same time, the upper mega fuse is protecting the charge wire. Now let's look at the power flow with the engine running. With the engine running, the alternator is supplying charging power to the battery and power to the fuse panel. You will notice that the lower mega fuse is still protecting the wire that brings power into the fuse panel, even though the main power source while the engine is running is the alternator. We hope you have enjoyed this deeper dive into the American Auto Wire Mega Fuse assemblies and appreciate the extra level of protection that the mega fuses bring to our wiring systems. Thank you very much for using American Auto Wire wiring in your project.